So, I have spent millions of coins on swords, axes and bows, but you know what I haven't spent money on in a while? Pets. The last time I made a video about a pet was almost two years ago when I spent a fortune trying to craft a legendary cherry pet. Yeah, 80 million used to be a lot back then. And nowadays it seems like the bare minimum for anything cool is at least a billion. And obviously the pet I'm going for is no exception. Thankfully, I got extremely lucky with slayers the other day, so money should not be a problem. But before we go and spend all my money again, I need to let you guys know about my support the creator code. And yeah, you heard me right, you can now use code PALIKA in the Hypixel store. So the next time you go buy some gems or like a rank or something, maybe type in code PALIKA. I get a little cut, no cost to you. Good luck, people tend to misspell my name a lot. You guys always ask how I make money for these videos. The answer for today is very simple. I got insanely lucky. I'm not even sure if insane is enough to describe it. You remember how in my last video I grinded for countless hours to get a judgment core? A drop you can only get from the tier 4 enderman boss that most people can't even kill. Yeah well, I got my core at around 260k experience, which is already considered lucky because there are people who have gotten to 1 million without getting one, and then I just go and get one before even hitting level 8. Eight. But I guess that wasn't enough because when I was grinding for that level 8 the other day, this happened. I actually got another one just before I hit level 8. And I can tell you that my co-op member, who is one of those people with way more experience than I have and no core, he was not very happy about the news. So to make him feel better, the next day I surprised him with this. I think it just has to be skill issue. I got two cores in 40k experience, which makes it three in total and I'm not even halfway to level 9. I kinda feel bad for the people who have gotten level 9 without getting even one, but at the same time, easy money for me, right? So here we have both of my cores, which are worth 650 million each according to my price checker. Unfortunately, it's not quite accurate. The lowest ones in the auction house right now are 580 million to 590 million, which is mostly because Jerry giving Aatrox perks. So people have been doing a lot of slayers. They will probably go back to 600 mil, but I just wanna sell them quickly. So I'm gonna put them both up for 585 million. I'm not the lowest bin, but I feel like they're still on pretty nice discount. So hopefully they sell overnight. Tomorrow. So both of my cores sold, which is nice, but I should have put them up for 600 mil though, because the lowest bin right now is 610 million. I knew they would go back up, but I wasn't expecting it to be this fast. But then again, I have 1.3 billion coins now, so I think we are good either way. We are ready to go explore the crystal hollows. I wasn't a huge fan of this place when the update dropped, so I kind of missed out on the really easy high of the mountain experience at the start, but when I gave it a chance later on, I kinda liked it. But we are not here to mine today. That is a topic for another video. We are here to find the dragon lair. What is that, you may ask? It's a rare structure which can spawn in the mithril deposits of the crystal hollows, where I conveniently just spawned into. Let's turn off this map though, because it doesn't look too nice. The commissions must go as well. Yo, chill, I'm getting beat up by Steve and Alex. No way, is that the golden dragon? I am so lucky that I found it from the first lobby I joined into. Nah, credit where credit is due. Thank you, Marky, for finding me a lobby with one. Even though you spoiled the surprise with that waypoint name, because it definitely wasn't obvious what pet I'm here for. Oh, a chest. We don't have time for that, though. Cherry! Why are you running? I love Cherry, but 100k is 100k. That's so cool. I didn't know it makes a sound like that. Oh, I got an achievement as well. I assume it's for, like, finding this place. Yep, seems like it. Oh, I can't mine up. I guess I'm under it. Is this, like, a huge dragon? I think it might be. Give me my powder. Yo, this place is sick. What a mighty dragon. We click this and there we go. Golden dragon egg. Perks unknown. Hatches at level 100. Ooh, but that price, though. 500 million coins. 50 enchanted gold blocks. One perfect amethyst, jade, sapphire, amber and topaz gemstone. How much is 50 enchanted gold anyway? Oh, it's only 8.5 mil. I thought it would be more. The gemstones should be pretty cheap nowadays. Jade is 11, Amber is only 8, Topaz is 11, 14 for the Sapphire, 15 for the Amethyst, good thing I don't need Jasper, and last but not least, Ruby for 10 mil. Now that we have all the infinity stones and the gold, it's time to purchase one of these eggs. Kinda savage to sell off your own children, but I respect the hustle. Achievement unlocked. 
the dragon's egg. This is actually the rarest achievement there is in Hypixel Skyblock. Only 0.02% have gotten this, and I'm one of them. I guess most people buy it off the auction house, but it doesn't have the same feeling, you know? It's a really cute pet as well. Let's put it on, if I can find it. No, it's not cute anymore! Oh, I don't have pet names on. There we go. Level 1 golden dragon egg, which cost me around 575 million. No, it didn't. I bought a rupee gemstone even though I didn't need it. So it was only like 565 million. But Palika, you said it's gonna be over 1 billion. I know, I know. It's not a clickbait, I promise. You see, the golden dragon is a bit different than any other pet, which should be obvious considering it doesn't do anything before it hits level 100, which is the max level for every other pet in the game. And as you know, you cannot buy a level 100 pet for the same price as level 1. The level increase the pet's value. And if level 100 is only the starting point, the prices will go really high. To get a legendary pet from level 0 to level 100 is 25 million experience, which is almost half of what you need for example combat 50. It's way faster to gain pet experience though because high taming level and pet items increase your XP gain a lot. But the thing is, you can't put a pet item on the egg. So it's lower to level up than a normal pet, and it's also more painful because you don't get any stats from it. You're basically playing without a pet until it hatches. You can avoid it by just buying a max level pet from the auction house, but is it really your pet if you don't level it up yourself? Probably, but we are not lazy. Let's go kill some revenants. It feels really weird to turn off the pet rule for the wolf. I don't think I have ever done revenants before without having it. Hey, level 2 already. I wish all the levels were this quick. Level up. Oh, I just skipped like three levels with one mini boss. Oh, you only get like 4k experience from the boss without wolf. It doesn't take that long to kill though, so it's still really good experience. I'm gonna kill this until I get this pet to level 50, which some of you might think is the halfway. Spoiler alert, it's not the halfway, not even close, but it's still gonna take a while. Later. Okay, I should get level 50 from this boss. Yep. There it is. So I spent like 30 minutes at Revenants to get my pet to level 50. It might seem like a lot of progress, but to get a legendary pet from 0 to 50, it's only 574k. I still need to get almost 25 million experience. That is like one day of Revenants. There's another way though, but it's gonna be decently expensive. Alchemy. It's been a while since I have been here. I'm not even sure if it works anymore. Cal built this long time ago and I don't think anyone has used it in a while. I'm just gonna check the XP rates really quick so I know how much canine need. We can worry about the auto prover later. So my pet has 12,972 experience right now. One speed potion gives me 23,760 experience, but leveling up pets with alchemy is nerfed really hard, so I only got 3,044 experience. So one enchanted sugarcane is gonna give me 9,132 experience on my golden dragon egg. And I need almost 25 million. Yeah, this is gonna cost me. Oh yeah, 140 million. It's gonna save a lot of time though, and I'm gonna get some overflow alchemy experience. Okay, so I got my cane. This is not the same order I set up yesterday though. I got like 400k with that one, and then the price went up like 200 coins, so I had to make another one. Now I just have to put the cane into the auto prover, AFK, take out some speed potions once in a while, and my pet is gonna be level 100 in no time. Or at least that is what I thought. Things didn't really go according to plan. I spent 5 minutes trying to fix the redstone clock by myself, then my co-op member came to help, but we still couldn't fix it. I probably spent like good 20 minutes trying to figure it out before I un unleashed my inner set bling and managed to make it work. Decently well, you know, there were some water bottles still coming through, but hey, no one is perfect. I replaced the enchanted sugar I was using for the testing, made sure that there's enough water bottles in the chests, and then just waited. The auto prover did all the work for me, and I just had to pick up the speed potions at the end. At this point, I was pretty happy how things were going, and I thought nothing could go wrong anymore. But then I made a huge mistake. I listened to my co-op member. There are two types of water bottles in Hypixel Skyblock. The ones with the common and the ones without. If you are filling your auto prover like this, make sure that you are looking at a block and the block is within your reach. Because if you don't, all the bottles that don't fit in your inventory and just fall into the hoppers won't have the common tag and the auto prover can't make them into potions. That happened the last time I did alchemy. I didn't remember what caused it though, so I asked my co-op member and he told me the wrong method. So I spent a while going through
through all the chests and hoppers trying to find the broken water bottles. After I was done with that ordeal though, everything went smoothly. My golden dragon was gaining levels faster than ever before, and the auto prover worked like a charm, excluding the occasional water bottles here and there. And while I was looking at my alchemy level gaining tons of overflow experience, I remembered that the builder of our island actually started playing the game recently. And his alchemy level was kinda lacking, so I asked him if he wants to level up my pet and get max alchemy while doing it, and of course he did. I successfully made my pet leveling method fully effective. Okay. I got bored very quickly though, so I built another auto prover to make it faster. Then I had to expand the storage for the speed potions, and there were never enough water bottles, so there were still a lot of things to do. Also, Alchemy 50 doesn't even take that long, so I got my pet back really quickly. Even though Sav literally went from level 5 to 50, he only got the pet up to 91. The whole process of getting this pet from level 50 to 99 probably took around 6 hours in total, and 140 million coins. Probably would have gotten it way faster if our auto prover was Speaker. Or I could have gotten it completely free if I just did Revenants for 24 hours, but we all know that time is money. The reason I didn't get it to level 100 is because Sav didn't have Spider Slayer 8 or Max Taming, so he was gaining less experience than I would have. But he did pay for the difference and also gave me a really nice tip. I also went from rank 584 all the way to top 300. Since we were not able to hatch the egg with alchemy, we might as well try the other pet leveling methods. First one being enchanting of course. The pet currently has 142k experience, we're just gonna play some piano click some numbers, and find as many XP boosts as we can to get almost 1 million enchanting experience. That was like 210k experience in 5 minutes. Enchanting is a really fast way to level up your pet, but you can only do it 4 times a day, so it's not really viable if you want to level up your pet fast. Floor 6 XP runs, however, are really good combat experience. This is probably gonna be the method that I'm gonna be using the most. I did couple runs already, and my pet now has 1,432k experience. All you really need for this is some combat 3 potions and a dungeon set up. And obviously high enough kata so you don't die by its normal floor 6, so it's not too hard. I could already use my golden dragon egg here, but you don't really get that much experience from the normal mob, so I'm just using black cat to get a better blood rush. It took me two and a half minutes to get into the boss room, which is decent. You get most of the experience from the golems and the giants. Just don't kill the golems before these guys spawn. Each of these guys give you 8.3k experience, which is really nice. And then you get 5k from the giants. After you kill them, you can just leave and join another one. You don't get any kata experience from this but you don't really gain anything from floor 6 anyway. Getting all the potions for this is probably the most annoying part. I threw this blood rust really hard. Oh yeah, how much XP did I gain? I had like 1.4 and something, so I gained like 100k. Oh, this run was so bad. Usually it takes like 3 minutes. You get like 140k per run. If you can do 3 minute runs, that is like 2.8 million experience an hour, minus the downtime between runs, so it's like 2.5 million experience an hour if you don't have a pet item. I'm like 50 experience away from finally hatching this thing, and what would be a better way than using my cursed tree capitator. This has to be the biggest L of my skyblock career. Make us proud. Wait, 101? So the golden dragon can't even be level 100? I guess you learn something new every day. It's finally cute though, and it actually does something. So the base stats are strength and attack speed. It gives strength to gold weapons, magic find and strength for each digit in your gold collection, even more strength, and damage for each million in my bank. So basically the pet just gives you a lot of strength. Also, how is it almost level 102 already? I guess we can go try it out now. I'm just gonna use my giant sword because it doesn't have favor. Okay, so I did like 920k without the pet, and if I have it on, it's like 300k more? Imagine if I get a heart now. Oh, unlucky. But the pet is 102 now. I should probably change this so we can see more accurate numbers. That is so much better. So we are dealing around 1.2 million with the golden dragon pet. Let's compare it to the other dragon pet. Wait, it's the same? Yeah, it's pretty much the same damage. I actually deal more with the golden dragon. And it's not even close to the max level yet. Because the max level of this boy is actually 200. This number right here is pretty much the experience I have on the pet currently. And if I want to get it to level 200, I need to get almost 200 million experience. That is 7 times the amount I have right now. But hey, at least I can use pet items now. This is gonna make it faster, but even with this, it's gonna take me weeks to max this thing. Which explains why my pet is worth 770. 75 million currently, and the maxed one is worth 1.5 
billion. Crazy how 100 levels can cost you 800 million coins. I wanna level up my pet for free though to see how long it takes. Plus I need to save up some coins for the nether update. But I also want to get this video out. So we have to compromise. I'm just gonna borrow a level 201 from my co-op member. It's not even cheating if you think about it because he's part of my co-op and everything that is his is also mine. At least on paper. He's using a tiger plus so I'm just gonna buy one for mine as well. Now we can easily see how big of a difference 100 levels can make. And if it's even worth to level this guy up. It's gonna be difficult to compare pets though. I have fabled on most of my weapons and legion on all of my armor pieces. And if that wasn't bad enough, you have to have different talisman reforged setups for the pets. Like, hello? Do you know who I am? I used to use a discord bot to tell me what reforges I should use. And now I'm supposed to remember different talisman setups for my pets? Yeah, I got this. Easy. So I currently have what we like to call the Sigma male grind set talisman setup. And by we, I mean me. I decided to use this setup because someone told me that it's the best one months ago and I never touched it since. And as it turns out, it is actually the best for the ender dragon. I have strong on mythics and legendaries, strains on epics for the minus one defense, and shaded on everything else. We are gonna use the withered giant sword so the damage doesn't change all the time, and we are gonna start with the ender dragon pet. 1,272,000. I guess we can check the damage with the level 200 golden dragon as well. The talismans are not even optimized for it and I'm already dealing 300k more. So let's optimize them. We don't want to change the mythics, so we are gonna keep them as strong. But for the legendaries, we will be needing a Luxurious. Luxurious? Luxurious. This reforge stone, which we need for the silky reforge. And we're gonna use this sick new feature to put it on only the legendary talismans. For the low price of 26k. And then everything else will be shaded. These setups kinda make sense now that I think about it. Ender Dragon gives you crit damage, so you don't need it from silky. Instead, you want to have the strange epics for the attack speed and golden dragon gives you attack speed so you want to get the crit damage from the silky let's see how much damage we can deal with the proper reforges let's try my pet first Okay, so we deal the same damage as we dealt with the level 200 one before optimizing the talismans. Okay, yeah, Golden Dragon is way better on Revenants. It's not even close. I guess we can try the normal Ender Dragon with this setup as well. Wait, what? I'm so confused. I think it must have been a Ring of Love hit, because now I'm dealing 1.5 mil. The difference is still like 350k though. So I guess this talisman setup is better for just like pure damage for the normal Ender Dragon as well. I'm missing a lot of attack speed though, but obviously you can't really see that when I'm one-hitting the mobs. Golden Dragon seems to be better, at least for Revenants. Let's actually check how good the gold weapon buff is. I just wanna use my Midas sword, it's been so long. 479 with the Ender Dragon? And almost 600 with the Golden Dragon. Doesn't seem like a lot to be honest, considering it gives you 100 strength. But hey, who cares, Golden Dragon still wins this one. Next up, Enderman. This one is gonna be a bit more difficult because I have fabled on my Atom Split. I guess we start with the Ender Dragon again. The average seems to be like 3.8 million. This pet and the Ender Dragon pet pretty much had the same damage on Revenants. But it's not even close in the end. I'm dealing like 500k less damage. Oh wait, I'm dealing over 4 million with the level 200 one? Could be Legion as well, to be honest. Well, either way, the only thing that really matters is how easily I can kill a tier 4 boss. Hopefully I don't die, the Golden Dragon doesn't really give you any defense. I should be fine, I have the Endstone Sword. The damage is pretty decent, I have to admit. I deal like 4 million per hit. And it doesn't really matter that I don't have any defense, because the Endstone Sword just gives me damage resistance. That was a pretty decent kill. It wasn't too fast, but it was my first time killing it with the Golden Dragon. I will try to do one with the level 100. And two, one. I might honestly not be able to deal damage fast enough. I'm dead. Oh, unless? Okay, we survived, but damn, that hurts. My resistance runs out all the time. I honestly don't even know what just happened. I died so fast. The level 100 golden dragon might not be the way. I'm really starting to preset the defense from my ender dragon. There is no way I die now. It should be dead here. There we go. Only had to die twice. But yeah, I think Ender Dragon wins this one easily. The plus 25% damage to end mobs and the defense you get from it is just too hard to beat. Like the boss wasn't too hard with the level 200 Golden Dragon because I was using the Endstone Sword, which literally makes you invincible for 5 seconds. So as long as you can deal enough damage in that time frame, you are fine. But if you mess up or the server lags or something, you're gonna have a hard time surviving with the Golden Dragon. Here's my effective health without a pet. It's exactly the same as I have with the Golden Dragon 
dragon. And here is my effective health with the ender dragon. As you can see, it's a lot better. So if you're planning on doing some enderman slayer, I recommend choosing the ender dragon. So the score is 1-1 one, one right now. And there is one more thing to do. Dungeons. It's near impossible to do a perfect damage test in dungeons. There are just so many things affecting your damage. Like how many blessings you have, how far away you are from the mob as a mage. Can't even really use my terminator because it has soul either. But it would be really dumb to skip dungeons because that is probably the one thing you want to buy the golden dragon for. So me and Cal decided that the easiest way to compare these pets would be with left click mage. So I changed all my talismans to shaded, which was really expensive by the way. I put on full ancient storm and then joined a dungeon. We cleared the entire thing to get all the blessings and then we had to find two mobs of the same kind. And then it was time to start the experiment. And like always, ender dragon goes first. 373 million. Not too bad. I wonder if this golden dragon is already better. Once again, it's pretty much the same as the ender dragon. Only 2 mil difference. Have you guys ever wondered how good the AI of the dungeon mobs is? Neither have I, but after seeing this crypt lurker running for his life, I'm not really sure what to think. Or maybe he just wanted to show me the secret, in which case he's already better than anyone from Party Finder. Look at those dance moves. Kinda unfortunate that he needs to die. Yeah, that's just 90 million more damage. Nothing too crazy, right? I think we know now why everyone likes to use the golden dragon in dungeons. It's just a little bit better. I also dealt like 43 million on the giant with it, so that was pretty nice. But yeah, it seems like golden dragon won. The only thing that e drag was better for was the void glooms, at least in my opinion. It's a bit more chill to kill them when you know that you won't get insta-killed if you mess up. But who knows, maybe I will start using my golden dragon when I get it to level 200 in the future. That might take a while. 185 million experience is a lot, but at least I know it's gonna be worth it. If you made it this far, I really hope you enjoyed my little journey of getting better at this game. These videos always take a while to make, so if you could consider subscribing, I would appreciate that a lot. They even buffed the golden dragon a little bit while I was editing this video, but it wasn't anything too crazy. They basically just made the stats into base stats. But yeah, stay awesome and use code Polika in the Hypixel store.